Hey everyone, it's Brittany here at Dr. Christopher Jones' office. We're doing a little live demonstration for you. Taylor, our esthetician, um, wanted Dr. Jones to do a couple injectables on her, such as Botox and Voluma, before her vacation, to get her vacation ready. Um, we also wanted to show you one of our newest tools for those who are afraid of needles, um, nervous about injections, nervous about in-office surgeries, something to help you relax and make the whole experience a little more comfortable. So here we are. Right now you can see Dr. Jones has made some lovely markings on Taylor's face with a white pencil. This is the Pronox machine that um, she can basically just inhale a little bit whenever um, she's feeling nervous. I think she's nervous that I have the camera this close to her face. <laughs> is that right? It has nothing to do with the needles. <laughs> Say hi, Crystal. Hi. Hi, Dr. Jones. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, she's not Neither nervous at all. She's a little happy. Mm. And just to let you know, we've obtained full informed consent before she ever touched this thing. She has. I yes. didn't consent to anything. Yes, she did. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All righty. Three, two, one, go. So right now we're starting with the Voluma. And he's just following his markings. How does that feel, Taylor? Great. No, it's not bad at all. <laughs> this stuff works. Sorry, like the video is a little shaky. I've had a little bit too much coffee. <laughs> A little too much coffee and not enough nitrous. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are um, checking in live, drop us a comment below so we know you're here. Hey, Harley. We love you, too. Harley says, hi, everyone. Love you all. I literally don't feel anything. I mean, a little pinch and a little pressure, but... You don't care about it? No, not at all. Compared to the last time you had Voluma? Yeah. Do you think it's the nitrous, or do you think it's... Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you said. Whatever you just said, that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dr. Jones, can you explain the Pronox machine and what she's actually inhaling? Uh, the Pronox machine is the first, as far as I'm aware, patient-controlled nitrous oxide delivery system. It's laughing gas, but it's fully 50% oxygen. So while she's inhaling a decent amount of the laughing gas to make her anxiety go away, she's also inhaling 50% oxygen, which is more than twice what we're getting in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So it's very safe. And the best thing about Pronox is she's controlling it, and studies have shown that patients will give themselves less nitrous oxide to allay their anxiety than a doctor or a nurse will. Mm -hmm. So when she's feeling anxiety, she's free to take some. When she's not, she doesn't need to. Whereas a professional like myself may not know that or be anxious for the patient, and I might end up giving her too much, resulting in some nausea or dizziness. Um, so we like this system. It's very safe and it's very effective. Also, if you think about going in and having a treatment on your lunch hour or at some time when you've got a busy day, um, having anxiety about this is going to make it less likely that you'll try to fit that in your day. Whereas if you know you can come in here and have no anxiety and no pain and leave happy, uh, I think that adds to the overall experience. Now I'm going to have you open your eyes and look in a mirror a minute because I've gotten the basic injection of Bloom in and I want to see if you can tell me whether or not you see some more areas that need to be done. Find my mirror. Let's see. You don't have one in here. 
Isn't it oxygen that they put through the casinos? To make you more awake? Yeah. Do you feel really awake? I do. <laughs> well, I think that laughing gas is working. I think it's money they put through the casino. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> now take a look and see Ew. if we're starting to fill in those spots yes. that you had. Do you have a favorite side? That one. They both look good, but yeah, I just see a teeny bit more over here. Okay, and it may be the light, so turn your head around in different ways to so check the light out. And close your eyes a minute. Let's see. Now we're going to blind you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she don't care. <laughs> I don't really don't. Hold on, let me puff again. <laughs> You've seen it right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I remember with Voluma last time, it wasn't that it was painful, it was that you could feel it on your bone and that's what gave me anxiety and so this mm -hmm. is like so helpful yeah i call it creepy i guess rather than painful. definitely i see a little bit right deeper. here can you see that yes last time i was sweating this time i am not sweating so now you don't feel that on your bone or you just don't No, I feel it. it on my bone. It just doesn't it's, you're not focused mm -hmm. on it. No. It's not like the thing I'm maybe it maybe what I'm focused on is that I'm on Facebook live. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be the Pronox. <laughs> Brittany actually forgot to turn the thing on. Oh so. darn it. Well <laughs> that's good. Over. Oops. <laughs> Did you just snore? A little bit. <laughs> One last little bit in one place I saw I missed. See, I don't even feel the injection. The actual needle doesn't hurt at all. Awesome, you just took Voluma to your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> we were laughing because sometimes if you inhale quite a bit of the Pronox, it can lower your voice. Um, so we're Isn't just kind of... Voice <laughs> We're kind of waiting for that to happen to Taylor. I always get really nervous at the dentist. So like this, I always do nitrous at the dentist. And now we're on to Botox. Freeze my forehead, man. <laughs> A little crunchy. Those were the worst ones. Good. I feel like you can get the job done faster with people on nitrous too, because I feel like this usually takes like an hour. Has I it been think, an hour? I, I was thinking of that. I was thinking I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't being as as hesitant because I knew. Yeah, that you that's were how I feel with people. Yeah, yeah, when they're in pain, I'm a little bit more hesitant. Got your forehead all done. Worth every penny. <laughs> That's why it's good to work here. Yes. <laughs> Send your resumes. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just sounded like a smoke. <laughs> uh, funny. Do not try this at home. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Are we all done? Just got to get some for her crow's feet and then we'll be done. These guys are the worst. Why don't you just stop making that face? <laughs> <laughs> I can't walk around like this. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> I'm a happy person, okay? 
Oh, I don't think I've ever seen an injectable experience go right. Well. Yeah. I even have an audience. So, Dr. Jones, someone wants to know: Will she feel sore tomorrow from the injections? Some people feel a little bit of soreness for when the Botox went in, maybe because of some bruising. It's usually not very much. Um, I haven't had much feedback from Voluma patients that they feel it the next day. Hmm. So, I don't think she'll have much of anything tomorrow. Last time that I had Voluma, I didn't. I wasn't sore the next day. You go to crow's feet. Say bye bye to them. You look like a pincushion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost done. Almost done. With Botox, I felt a little headache the next day I think it's because or maybe the next couple of days it was like a very dull headache but I think it was because my muscles were fighting against me <laughs> but it went away is that your medical opinion <laughs> that's a medical statement okay <laughs> okay except for your little dots I think you're pretty good okay you Ipple. <laughs> Do you have anything? All right, someone else wants to know, where else can you go to work and get your wrinkles removed and be pumped full of happy gas? <laughs> On your lunch break. I can't see the rest of the comment. Oh. Um, we don't know how to work the internet. <laughs> <laughs> where could you go to work, get your wrinkles removed, and, and be pumped full of happy gas? Nowhere besides Christopher Jones and Dean. It's so true. <laughs> Where was your answer? A slaughterhouse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to this. Yes. All right, everyone. We're Thanks for watching. Off. See you later.